Hi, how are y'all doing today? Today I'm going to demonstrate how to tie a fishing hook. Something that most people have never tried in their life and mostly never want to try in their life because they think if you don't tie that fishing hook just right, that the fish will come off. And that is the truth, but if you break down the process of a fishing hook, it's really not that hard at all. It's a simple process. and I learned at a very young age. And when you learn one time from your dad and you, and you go fishing with him all the time, you never want to ask him again, hey, dad, will you tie this hook for me? Because he'll look at you like you're the silliest person in the world. So today I'm going to show you how to tie a fishing hook. You need some, this is called leader line. When you're red fishing in the backwaters, the salt water, we like to go to the dam a lot. You have your braid on your fishing pole, your braided line. It runs all the way out around your reel. You got your reel spooled up. And then this line is a leader line. It's about two foot. So when you get this line out, your braid is normally around 20 pound test. That's what we use. And then this leader line is a 30 pound test and it's, it's a mono. It's more of like a, it's a leader line. It's not a braid. It's like the old timey fishing lines. You want to cut about two foot off of this spool and tie line to line or either, either with a swivel to the end of your braided line. Most people like to use a swivel because it's a little bit easier. It has an eye hook on each side of the swivel and you can tie a simpler knot to each side and then it'll pull through. And it, but some old timers, like my dad, he doesn't like to use a swivel because he said it to spin and when you throw your rod and it goes under the mangroves, it'll get tangled up and it'll be twisting and flipping. So it's all about preference, but most people like to tie this leader line straight to their braids. So when it's pulling both ways, all it's doing is getting tighter. So in theory, when you have a fish on, your knot's getting tighter and tighter and tighter as that fish starts to pull against it. Well, today you're going to need a pocket knife, a pair of scissors, something in that sense. Your braid and your braid that's on your fishing pole, you're going to need your, your um, leader line here. You need a little pair of pliers to maybe pull on the hook to get your knot real tight. And you need a regular two-aught fishing hook. And that has a little eye hook, like I said before, that's on this and both the swivel. Now what you're going to do, before you get your fishing pole out and want to tie your actual leader line to your braid, you want to tie your fishing hook and either put a cork on your leader line before you have to deal with all that cluster. So say you're in the boat and you're out fishing, you don't, like our boat has a T-top, and you don't want that fishing pole banging and slapping and framing everywhere on the boat. You want to have it where it's just all neat and you let a little bit of line out and you simpler steps you don't have to deal with the whole cluster today you're going to take your fishing hook and you're going to take your leader line and you're going to run it through that eye hook and you're going to pull it where you have enough line and leader out so you don't have to deal with a little tiny knot and you're going to hold this line and this one together with this hand and take this and spin your hook seven times so it makes a wrapping order of the, the leader you want to i don't know why you'd want to do it seven times but that's what all the old timers always said you do it seven times you're going to be safe okay, count them out real slow now that you have seven you want to take the line that you cut and started with and run it through right before that eye hook and that's what we're going to call the little hole and it's very simple don't let this step confuse you now you just take that and run it right through the little one right through back through the big one now after the little one and then you pull it all tight you can use your teeth i don't recommend to use your teeth but sometimes when you're in a hurry like that you don't want to have to get them pliers out and all that sort of sense and that knot is going to stand up and be on that line like that and the more you pull it you can see it slide down take your fingernails and just pull it so in theory, just like the braid line, the more the fish pulls on that leader and towards that hook, it's going to get that leader tighter and tighter against that fishing hook. So it should never pull off at least. You can get a pair of pliers and pull as much as you want. And it just gets tighter and tighter so you know you have a good set hook. Then after that step, you want to take your leader and run it back out because there will be a little bit of ripples in it. And they say a fish won't see this in the water, but I believe if you stick this in the water beside the boat, it sort of kind of looks like a straw to me. It looks like that big, thick piece of straw just sitting in the water. 
So that's why you want to take your pocket knife or your pair of scissors or whatever kind of such you need and you just put it right there beside that line, that excess leader that's hanging off and just cut that little piece off. So the less leader and the less garbage you can say all around your hook, the better you off are. The better chance that you're going to hide the hook, you know? You're going to hide it from the fish and they're just going to see that piece of bait sitting there floating, just waiting to get eaten. Now that's a task that some people never want to try and think it's so hard, but with three inch simple steps, that's all it is and that's that's one of the best fishing knots you can find right there. And that's one that I've known since I was a young boy because like I said, my dad, I tell you, he, I, you never want to ask him again, oh, will you tie my hook? He'd make jokes about me and joke on me and laugh at me, so i I'd rather honestly lose a fish tying a hook bad than sit there and ask dad if he'd tie it for me. I appreciate y'all watching this. Thank you.